Welcome to VVVV Gamma. In this tutorial I will show you the essentials you need to know to create your own programs or patches as we call them. So patches are made up of nodes and we create nodes using the node browser which we can bring up anytime with a double left click anywhere in the patch. You can look around in the node browser, you can enter a category, look around for nodes, you can press escape to exit the category but for now I will just tell you what we're looking for and you can type things in. So if you type renderer you will see there are three nodes coming up for called renderer but we will simply choose the first one. This creates us a render window and it also creates this renderer node. Nodes in VVVV have input pins and output pins. The first thing I want to do now is change the background color of this renderer. So I will be looking for an input called color. Here it is. And I want to change the value of that input. So in order to do so, I will start with a left click. This gives me a link at the mouse cursor. And then I will finish the link with a middle click because this creates an IO box. If you don't have a middle click, I will show you an alternative is always to start the link normally, but then Alt left click. So whenever I say middle click, you can also use an Alt left click. So again, this creates the IO box and this allows me to change the background color. So one simple way is to simply double click it and type the name of a color, light blue, and I already have the renderer set accordingly. Now I want to draw a circle into that renderer. So I will double click, bring up the node browser, type circle. I will choose this entry, take its output, start a link from there, simple left click. And as I do so, the, the renderer uh, lights up one of its input pins. And this is the only one that will accept this connection. So I finished the link here and I have the circle drawing in the renderer. Next I want to move the circle around as I move the mouse over the renderer. So I'll use a node for that that is called mouse and the mouse's first output says connect this to the renderer you want the mouse state from. Okay so I will start a link from here and conveniently the renderer shows me which pins I can connect to. Again, it's only this one. As I do so, the first connection is disconnected automatically. And this is a fundamental principle in VVVV. Uh, every input pin can always only hold one connection. So obviously there must be a way that I can group two connections. In this case, uh, the node is called group create a group node. This has two inputs and one output. So I can connect the mouse here. I can connect the circle there and take its output to the renderer. And now I have both the mouse and circle connected to the renderer. Now you might say, yeah, but what if you want to draw more things than just a circle? Yes, you would select the node and press Control plus on it to add inputs and Control minus to remove the inputs again because for now we only need one input. Now onto the mouse. The mouse has an output called position in world space. So this will report the mouse coordinates as we move over the renderer. So we start a link from here and again the circle shows us this is the only pin you can connect to. It's called position. So as I do this and I move over the renderer you see the circle is already following the mouse. Now I want to change the color of the circle as I move the mouse from left to right. So I will be looking for an input called color on the circle, but there isn't such a thing. There is one input that's called paint that sounds a bit like color. And indeed the paint is a property that allows me to specify different drawing properties of the circle. But for now we are simply interested in changing the fill color. So what we can do is start a link from here and simply start typing to bring up the node browser looking for a node called fill and this node now has an input called color. Now again I can use an IO box to change a color or 
rather in this case I want to change the color programmatically so I will be using another node called from HSL this one takes uh, values for U, saturation, lightness and alpha and returns a color so this can go here and now I want a value that I can change the hue with uh, I want as I said the mouse positions X coordinate to influence the color so I will start a link from here type vector and look for the node called vector split choose the 2d version and this gives me the vector split node which returns X and Y components independently I can simply take the X component connected to the hue and now as I move from left to right I have the circus color change accordingly now it seems to me the color is a bit bright the, satur the saturation is a bit much so I want to change this saturation value you already know how I can do this I can create an IO box here and change the value or instead what I can do is I can change the value right in place on the pin and the way I do this is I can simply right click a pin and enter a value or if that's uh, not interactive enough I can simply right drag a value so I go on the pin and start a right drag so that I can change the value interactively all right now two more things I want the background color of the renderer always be the complementary color of what the circle is so I'm using a complement node here that takes a color in and returns the complementary color so I can take the circles color and connect the output to the renderer this already creates a nice simple color composition and finally I want to animate the circles size so the simplest way to create a little animation is using the LFO node the low frequency oscillator this one simply returns a value that goes from 0 to 1 so you see the circle is now changing its size from 0 to 1 um, it's a bit too fast for me so I'm changing the speed the period to take 5 seconds now and now instead of a ramping value what I want is a sign value so that I have the circle going smoothly uh, getting bigger and smaller so I will show you how I can insert a node into this link I simply double click the link and type sign wave to get a sine wave value but you notice now the circle is gone for a while and this is because the sine wave it goes from minus 1 to plus 1 and negative values for the radius are not visible here so I will also want to map this value so I will insert a map node here and I want to map the value that is coming in which is a value from minus 1 to 1 so I say input minimum is minus 1 input maximum is 1 output minimum should be something above 0 and the output maximum can be 1 so now I have a circle that's animating it's never going uh, below 0 0.8 or what I entered there it's always visible and it has a nice smooth animation all right that was it for your very first steps you now know how to create nodes and io boxes and connect them with links to create a patch if you now feel that this could be a way you see yourself working in the future then have a look at the next tutorials